WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we got markets starting off on the positive side. You get the Dow right now, positive 143 points, trending at 27,003. You heard it right, 27,000 handle on the Dow. S&P is trading at 3,000. First time I've said 27,000 in the Dow. S&P's first time yesterday saying 3,000. S&P is positive by seven or up about a quarter percent, trading right at 3,000. NASDAQ positive by 17 points, trading at 82.20. You get the Russell basically flat at 15.65. And we're going to start it off with a quick VIX update as this market chugs higher. The VIX trading at 12.69 this morning, pulling back a bit as the market continues to higher territory. We'll start it off and we're going to start it off with some news of the day. So we had CPI posting the biggest gain in nearly a year and a half is the headline you see there. We had overall CPI edging up 0.1% last month, held back by cheaper gasoline and food prices. Gasoline alone in June down 3.6% for price. Pretty remarkable. And uh, getting down to the core number, where are we? Yeah, excluding volatile food and energy components rose 0.3% last month. What you also had, weekly jobless claims, three-month low, 209,000 as this economy chugs on. Some of the other headlines out there. We'll get to the headline. White House drops proposal to eliminate drug rebates as health stocks soar. So we'll jump over to those charts in a moment. Cigna up about 14%. United Health up about 5%. Getting back to the futures markets, Dow 30, there's your futures chart for September. We got up there and touched 27,000 briefly, just under that number, 26,987. NASDAQ 100, trading at 79.49, a little bit weaker than the Dow. We were up at highs at around 79.60 on a couple occasions pre-market. S&P 500, looking a little bit like the NASDAQ 100, was sitting at 3,003. We were up there at 3,006, so a few points higher for most of the early session. Crude oil trading $60.57, almost made it up to 61 at one point. Gold with quite a charge overnight last night made it to 1428. Gold trading at 1415 and the Euro US dollar trading at 11258. Stay tuned, folks. I'm coming back at 10 o'clock. Basil Chapman filling in for Tom. 11 a.m. Fast market by TD Ameritrade. Think or swim, Kevin Hicks and the team. Basil Chapman, Dave, Dave White, Steve Rhodes, all this afternoon. Have a great Thursday, everybody.